Boss ladies tell me all the time that they, one, wish their graphics looked more professional, and two, they wish they didn't take so dang long to create. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create awesome graphics in just minutes with Canva. People that have followed these steps have told me they've been able to make six brand new pins in just 15 minutes. That's like barely over two minutes of design. Before we get into it, do me a favor right now and please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future graphic design and Canva tips from my channel. <music> I tell people all the time that if you want to create awesome graphics in minutes, then you need to be working from templates. Now, these can be templates that you design yourself and use over and over, or these can be professionally designed templates that you purchase. And you may be thinking, why don't I just use the Canva templates that are free right there in Canva? And that is definitely an option, but I'm talking about creating unique designs that really make you stand out and not fall into that Canva look that we're trying to stay away from. If you find yourself struggling with wanting your graphics to look more professional, then I suggest you find some templates. And I actually sell some, but I have a free special gift for you today, which is a mini kit that comes with two templates and um, some graphics that I pulled right out of my Boss Lady design kit. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get started with those. This right here is a PDF that you get with any kind, anytime you get a Canva template from me. And I would say that most Canva templates are provided this way where you get some sort of link, either via email or on a PDF like this. Uh, and I have some instructional videos that you can click on and go through, but I'm gonna show you all of this right now. So here's the link to get the pen template. And when you click on it, it opens a Canva window. And the very first thing that you must do is make yourself a copy. That's what all of this is telling you. So you come up to design and click make a copy and it's gonna automatically open up your copy. So you could go ahead and rename that if you want to so you know that this is your copy to edit. You do not want to edit the first copy that popped up. So now you can just get rid of all the instruction pages once you get it set up. And I have two templates that you can just plug in your branding. So for example, if this watercolor isn't really your style, you could delete those and then change the background color to your brand colors. Now, the trick to this is you do need to have your branding in place. And if you need some help with your branding, I'll have a link below of how you can quickly decide on your brand decisions because having your branding in place is really the key to designing quickly. So for example, you can see I have my brand colors. Even if you're working in the free version of Canva, templates will let you save your branding because you can see right here, anytime you have a document, all the document colors sort of follow that around. So you can easily change the background and then you can change the font to whatever your brand font is. So for me, I use Poppins a lot. And then this, I would actually change probably to one of my cursive fonts, which I have Canva for work, so I get to upload my own fonts. And then I'm gonna use a shortcut to just make that bigger. And I'm using Shift Command and the um, greater than or less than sign, the period. Drag that up. And then I may want to bring in something up top since I took the watercolor out so I can just move my keyboard, shift that around a little bit, and there is a brand new pin. Same thing down here. You could change these boxes. And if you're ever having trouble selecting an object behind another object, just click tab. There we go. And then this would be maybe my Tokyo outline font that I've uploaded. 
And if I select the edge of the text box like that, now I can move my arrow keys to nudge that up. And then I might want to change that to my darker color. And there you go, two brand new pens. Now, of course, you would want to redo the headlines to whatever they needed to be for your pins but i just created two graphics in minutes and i could easily um, switch this out so if i wanted to use this again i could get rid of that change that to a color i could put the marble up there because in my kit i do give you the option to upload these graphics so you can come back and click the graphics button and it will automatically download those to your computer. You can come to your upload tabs, find those on your computer. I have to unzip it first. Now come to your uploads and find them. And then I can drag and select all of those, click open. And now they are all uploading right there into the upload section. So now I can Come back to page one if I want to put that marble in. Add the marble. Stretch it all the way. I can make it a little bit lighter and send it to the back. And you can see that I still have my background color in there. So that is one way that you can tweak the marble background a little bit is leaving a background color behind the transparent marble. But if you wanted to get your background, just drag your marble a little bit out of the way and you can delete that. And then you can get rid of the elements altogether. You can add them back in change them out. You can quickly add things to the templates like if you want to add a rectangle behind your website at the bottom hit R, size it down, drag it right over it and then send it backward and change it to whatever color you want it to be. I'm gonna make it white or maybe even my pink. You could change the color of this box as well. You can easily just keep making changes to these and you're using the same template over and over, but with different color combinations of your brand colors and um, different backgrounds and moving the elements around. So even with those two templates, I can quickly make multiple pins. If I wanted to use this again, I can just quickly come up here, go to copy page. It made a copy right under it. So then I could change my headline, change the color. And you can see how quickly you can tweak these to make different versions of the pen templates. So there you go. There is how you can quickly create awesome professional looking graphics in Canva in minutes. And if you want to get that kit that comes with the two templates and six um, graphic elements to move around and use in your designs, I will post a link to that below this video. Now, as I mentioned, the key to this is having your branding in place. So I want to know in the comments below, do you have your branding set? Do you have set colors and fonts that you use all the time without change? And do you have a brand style guide? Let me know in the comments and you can even let me know what they are. Or if this is something you're struggling with, let me know that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up down below and check out the description for all the links I mentioned during the video. Boss ladies, I will see you in the next video.